So, have you noticed? There's a new Gmail interface. I know no one likes change, especially when it comes to one of your most hardworking applications, your inbox. But it doesn't have to be all bad. Even though it can seem painful, let's look at the reasons why I think you should switch to the new Gmail interface. Let's begin with navigation. When working in the old interface, with the menu collapse, the navigation can become very cluttered. The new interface has simplified the line navigation and utilised a smooth hover menu. Let's take a look at it. The old nav on the left hand side is busy with lots of icons. Conversely, the new UI only uses four clear icons. Icon only menus have been changed to text an icon to make for better accessibility. It's also helpful to anyone making the change from other mail applications. The new interface splits the hover menu by application, making it a simpler user flow in your chosen channel. Here you can see the drawer navigation on the left-hand side is cluttered and the space is limited, whereas the pop-up navigation is clean and clear. Let's have a look at how it's changed for chats and spaces. Working with the email menu extended in the old UI, it can be easy to miss an incoming chat. In the new user interface, the chat and spaces icon remains in eyeline and the notification bubble draws the eye. Replying to chats while working in Gmail has also got easier. Previously, you would need to click on the spaces menu, then find the space to access your reply. Now, you can hover over the bubble to get a quick reply option or quickly find the space from the hover menu and click once to access and reply. In the old user interface, you can search chats from the inbox search bar, simply using a keyword and selecting chats and spaces. And yep, you can do that too in the new user interface. In addition to turning off chats and spaces, it's now possible to turn off Meet from inside the new user interface. Easily customise your inbox from the quick settings menu. Let's turn our attention to labels. With the new application specific pop-out menus, your custom labels no longer have to fight for space. Like here, the other applications block any additional labels, requiring you to push the applications down in the navigation, versus here, where there is lots of room for your custom labels. In addition, the new hover menu delineates custom and default labels. Here, the custom labels feel lost in amongst the default labels. Now, they each have their own space. Actually finding the options for creating labels can be a barrier to staying organised in Gmail. With the Create New Label button hidden all the way down here, now quickly add a label without having to scroll forever with the plus button at the top of the section. One of the biggest changes, and often the hardest to reconcile, is what it actually looks like. Google has made big changes to improve visibility and accessibility. Using colour grading, the interface has a much more distinct areas for inbox, navigation and actions. And the red text, which is poor usability for those with colour blindness, has been removed. The calming blue helps the navigation to stand out and is better for accessibility. In addition, the narrow red Compose Call to Action button has been replaced with a Compose bar at the top of the hover menu, increasing the touch area for easier access. But of course, if none of this has you convinced, ultimately you can simply turn it off. Google will ask you for feedback and you can return to your old user interface. To date, there is no confirmation for how long you'll be able to opt out. But as for me, 
I'm embracing the change and enjoying what I think are some well thought out and those small, really transformative features. Yeah.